Hi friends, today's topic of discussion is speed control of bidirectional hydraulic motor and this is the circuit number 7. So here the bidirectional hydraulic motor will run in clockwise as well as anti-clockwise direction which depends on the position of DC wall. So here you can see we have a motor and this is flow control valve which we will put at the incoming and outgoing of the bidirectional motor and we have solenoid operated 4 by 3 DC valve which is having center close position and this is the pump and this is pressure relief valve and the flow uh, filter which we will put in the return line and the oil tank. So we will construct this circuit that is the circuit number 7 which is speed control of bidirectional hydraulic motor. So let us start. So first we will have this complete setup of this motor along with the flow control valve at the port A as well as port B. Okay, So that the liquid coming in from this side or this side will be controlled. Okay. Then we have this 4 by 3 directional control wall which is having the center close position as you can see over here. So then we have this pressure relief wall which will be at the outlet of the pump so that if the pressure is more it can be controlled. Okay, This is the pump Okay, and This is the return line filter. So, so filter we have put in the return line and this is the oil tank. So what we have done this elements which are on the left hand side we have arranged to make the complete circuit. Now we will discuss regarding the working. So there are total three position. So in position one. So this setup which I have shown now is the position one. So the oil from the tank is taken by the pump and it goes to the port A by going through this flow control wall. So the liquid is controlled so hence the rotation now will be in the clockwise direction okay. So in first position of the DC wall okay the pressurized oil enter into the motor through the port A and the motor rotates in the clockwise direction and the used oil okay, will come through here and it will not pass through the flow control but it will pass through this check wall okay and then it will go to the DC valve okay and then it will return to the oil tank via this filter so as you can see over here the speed of the motor is controlled because of this flow control wall which is near port A. So this is position 1. So now when we discuss regarding the position 2. So in position 2 if I bring this position to here then what will happen the oil which is taken from the tank by the pump will be going to the port B and while going to the port B it will go through this flow control valve. It will go through this flow control valve. Once it goes through this flow control valve, so the speed is control of the liquid which is sent. Hence the speed of the motor will get controlled. But when the liquid enters from port B, the direction of the motor will be in anti-clockwise direction. Okay. And the used oil which will be going through the port A will return via this check valve and then will go to the oil tank by passing through this filter. Okay, This is position 2. In position 3 when it is the center close position the oil which is coming from the pump because it is sucked from the tank and then it goes in the center position. So since it is closed so the oil will not go to this side of the circuit and it will return directly to the tank by passing through this filter which is in the return line. So totally we have done 
three position position number one where the motor will rotate in the clockwise direction and the speed is controlled because of this flow control wall and when the oil goes to port B when we are in the second position then it will go and the rotation of the motor will be anti-clockwise and the flow is controlled hence the speed is control of the motor and then the used oil will come from the check wall and it will return to the tank in the third position the oil is coming back directly to the tank without going to this side of the circuit hence there is no movement or the no rotation of the motor so this was circuit number seven speed control of bi-directional hydraulic motor hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye